हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट लेट्स सॉल्व दिस वन अनदर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर फाइव डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड्स टॉपिक अगेन वी आर गिवन दिस कंटिन्यूअर बीम एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द फोर्स एंड मोमेंट रिएक्शन एट ए फॉर द बीम विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू दी दिस लोड कॉम्बिनेशन राइट so here we have this distributed load and this is that pointed load and here we have this 4 kN meter couple and we are required to determine the reactions at this particular point a so in order to find the reactions at point a we have to represent we have to replace this distributed load by its corresponding resultant force right so what we will do is that uh, as we can see that this area which is associated with the distributed load can be divided into two sub areas right so if i draw a line here let me draw a horizontal line here i draw a horizontal line here so then uh, we can we, we can see that we have two sub areas one is uh, triangular area and the other one is uh, rectangular area so let's say that this triangular area is let's say 1 this is area 1 and let's say that this rectangular area is let's say 2 so now let's say that the resultant which is associated with this triangular area is let's say r1 so we will write that r1 so as we know that this r1 the resultant of this distributed load which is associated with this triangular area is equal to r1 and that r1 will be equal to the area of this uh triangle right so we can say that this will be half this base is 1.5 plus 1 right so this is we can say this is 2.5 and the height of this triangle is this 60 kN per meter minus this 24 right so this height so this height is 60 minus 24 is 36 right so i can say that this is 36 kN per meter so this 2.5 is in meters right we can add this is in meters and this is 36 kN per meter so meter meter will cancel out so we will be left with kN right so this is 2.5 into 36 divided by 2 the so 2.5 into 36 multiply by 0.5 right so this gives us 45 kN so r1 is 45 kN and similarly this r1 will pass through the centroid of this triangular area so let's say that the centroid of this triangular area is located somewhere here right so this is that and this r1 will pass through this centroid right so let me draw that r1 so this will be that r1 which will be acting in this direction right so if if we want to find the distance of this r1 from that end a right so let's say that this centroid of this triangular area is located at a distance of x1 right so then this x1 we can write that that x1 will be equal to this 1 1 plus 1.5 right i can write that this is 1 plus 1.5 and this distance this distance will be equal to 2/3 of the base of this triangle right is we know that the centroid of triangular area is located at a distance of 2/3 from this point or 1/3 from this side right so i will write that this is plus 2/3 into 2.5 since this the length of this base is 2.5 right 1 1.5 plus 1 so that so this will give us x1 so we can find x1 so this is 1 plus 1.5 is uh, 2.5 plus 2/3 of So this is 4.167, right? So x1 is 4.167 meters. Similarly, the resultant which is associated with this triangular area, this area two, uh, this rectangular area, so that that let's say that that is equal to R2. So R2 will be equal to the area of this rectangle, 
right. So, the area of this rectangle will be this 2.5 plus this right. So, I will write 2.5 2.5 multiply by by this intensity right. So, this intensity is uh, 24 right. So, I will multiply this with 24. So, 2.5 into 24. So, this is equal to 60 right. So, I will write that this is 60 kilo Newton right and this R2 will pass through the centroid of this rectangular area. So, let us say that the centroid of this rectangular area is somewhere here right. So, I can draw this, this is R2. and this distance of R2 will be equal to the half of this dimension of this rectangle which is 2.5 right. So, this will be 2.5 divided by 2 right. So, we can write that R2 is located at a distance of x2. Let us say that, let us say that this is x2. So, again we can write that x 2 will be equal to this 1 plus 1.5. So, this is 2.5 plus this length which is half of 2.5. So, 2.5 divided by 2. So, this is 2.5 plus 2.5 divided by 2. So, this is equal to 3.75. So, x 2 is equal to 3.75 meters right. So, now at this particular point A, uh, we will have reactions in the in the positive y direction like this. Uh, let us say that uh, this is A y and similarly we will have a x reaction like this in the horizontal direction in the positive x direction this is A x and this concrete support will uh, will also resist the moment right. So, let us say that that uh, moment support is in the clockwise direction let us say that this is M A right. So, now we can draw this free body diagram let me let us say that this is that beam here we have that 40 kilo Newton uh, meter moment right and here we have this point load. So, let me draw this load as well right. So, this is our free body diagram this is that uh, pointed load 50 kilo Newton right this is that R 2 and this is that R 1 which is 36 uh, this is R 1 right and, uh, and R 1 is 45 kilo Newton and R 2 is 60 kilo Newton right. So, now if I apply the summation of moment about point A, here we have that point A right. So, if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0, here we have that 40 kilo Newton meter couple right. This is 40 kilo Newton meter couple. So, now if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0 right. So, we have this M A which is acting in the clockwise direction. So, I will write minus M A this couple is acting in the counterclockwise direction. So, we will write plus 40. This 50 kilo Newton force is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So, I will write minus 50 and the perpendicular distance of this 50 kilo Newton force from that point A is 1 plus 1.5 plus 1.5. So, this is 3 4 right. So, we will write that this is 4. Similarly, this R2 is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So, I will write plus R2, R2 magnitude is 60 and the perpendicular distance of this R2 from that point A is x2 which is 3.75. Similarly, this R1 is producing the counterclockwise moment. So, again I will write plus R1 is 45 kilo Newton 
and the perpendicular distance of this R1 from that point A is this x1 which is 4.167. So, this will be equal to 0. So, we have 40 uh, minus 50 into 4. So, this is equal to we can write that this is minus m a and this is approximately 253. So, I will write plus 253 equal to 0 or we can say that m a equals to 253 kilo Newton meter and we we have assumed that m a is acting in the clockwise direction and since the m a value is positive. So, this means that the assumed direction is accurate. So, this means that m a is 253 kilo Newton meter and its direction is clockwise right. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So, only uh, if this is our positive x and y direction. So, as we can see that only this x is acting in the positive x direction. So, this means that a x is equal to 0. And similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this a y is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write a y this 50 kN is acting in the negative y direction. So, I will write minus 50 this r 1 and r 2 both are acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write plus r 1 which is 45 plus r 2 which is 60 and this will be equal to 0. So, this is minus 50 plus 45. So, this is minus 5 and minus 5 plus 60. So, this is uh, 55 right plus 55. So, I will write that this a y is this is plus 55 and this is equal to 0 or we can say that a y is equal to minus 55 kilo Newton right. So, this minus sign means that the assumed direction of a y is not accurate a y is acting in the downward direction that is in the negative y direction right and its magnitude is 55 kilo Newton. So, the total re resultant reaction at point a is let us say r a and that will be equal to a x square plus a y square and a x is equal to 0. So, this means that r a will be equal to uh, a y magnitude which is equal to 55 kilo Newton. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. This is the moment support at point A and this is the uh, force support at point A R A right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.